Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Mike Rondo. In today's episode, and I, you have to apologize, you might hear the heater going here because um, it's a little cold in the shed of solitude this today. Um, so today we're going to do a tin note and this is what we'll be doing. Cobblestone whiskey, high spirits, and I'm drinking with it. One of my favorite whiskeys, Wyoming, double cask. Um, now I hadn't drank a lot of the Wyoming. Now I did a, a, a review sort of, and I'm no whiskey expert. Uh, my buddy Joe, who's actually going to create a whiskey podcast for the network for Air Glue Media, will be doing one shortly. I think he's launching the 27th of this month. Regardless, I'll probably put a link if I can find the trailer so you kind of get an idea of what he's doing. So I look forward to that. Now, Joe's an expert on whiskey stuff. And uh, at some point, I'm going to meet up with Joe again. I met him uh, at Star Wars Celebration. We hung out. Joe lives a state over from me, and we haven't had a chance to hang out. Uh, and I want to hang out with me. You mentioned last month to hang out, but with all the COVID stuff, I mean, one day Rhode Island's restricted from Connecticut or vice versa. So I don't know how that's going to go, but I'm going to somehow get over and see Joe before the year ends and whatnot. So Joe, we will see each other soon. I hope. Um, so I did a review on the Wyoming and I liked it. It's one of my favorite whiskeys. I hadn't drank it for, dr drunk it for a while. Uh, I wasn't on a whiskey kick for a while and... I was actually drinking a lot of Buffalo Trace. I was finishing off the bottle that I got. And I had that when I was, at night I would have uh, the Buffalo Trace. But as you can see, I, I started drinking the Wyoming again. And so we're gonna have today, we're gonna pair, see how this goes with this tobacco. Oh, that is good. And of course it is chilly, but I have to have my, my, my uh, steel ice cube in here because I love my whiskey chilled. Uh, typical New England thing, because we drink iced coffee in the middle of winter. So, you know, I guess it's just how we roll. But anyway, so we're gonna crack into this tin um, and we'll see how this goes. Let's see if I can, I always struggle with the tins here. I mean, this is, uh, it's funny because I call these segments tin notes and this is actually a tin, which is good. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you could hear it. But I don't know. Let's see. So this is, obviously, it's a, it's, a, it's a straight bourbon. They say whiskey on this, but they don't say what. They just say, where's my magnifying glass? Whoops. Sorry, Sherlock. Uh, let's see. They say a blend of burley. Not surprising, I can see Burley's going well with whiskey. Uh, and Virginia tobaccos, topped with generos generously with whiskey. They don't say what whiskey, what brand, uh, and whatnot. So we're going to find out. Let's, let's get into this, the tin note here. If I can open it. There we go. There we go. Now, if I do like this, this is interesting. Because, you know, when I open the notes, like when I open the tins with cobblestone, That's weird. It's like a cabin dish. Like this is just, just opening the tin and just smelling it, room note type thing, and and my stomach's growling, so I apologize. It's not like a whiskey type smell, but we'll get into that in a second. But back to my point. With cobblestone, I I was very surprised with the cafe series, so now they have a whiskey series or spirits. So I'm gonna start diving into that. Um, if I like this, then there'll be more of, of these, and I think I'm going to like this. But anyway, let's get back into this. So we'll open up the tin here. I'm not getting, I'm getting more burly than anything else. I'm not sensing any whiskey. It almost smells like Cavendish, but that's not right, because there's none. Hmm. Like, I don't get any oaky barrel type, uh, I'll show you what it looks like here. That's, that's what you get. Kind of like a ribbon, flaky. I smell burly in Virginia, but no, 
no whiskey type note, like no oak taste, like no or note, like no smokiness or anything like that. But let's let's uh, break this up a bit. There's like an alcohol like smell and I don't mean like rubbing alcohol or anything like that like it's like a a spirits kind of smell yeah it's it's like but it's not overpowering it's like a, like a little hint of it it's not That's interesting though. It's it's good. It's very pleasant. Whatever the blend here with the with the with the uh, the burley burley is always good. You can't go wrong with burley. The Virginias as well. I love Virginias. And then with the infused of the whiskey, it's all pretty mild, which is strange because I thought this would be stronger. Like when I opened it up, I thought it'd, I mean, great that I smelled something, but more burley. But I thought I'd smell more whiskey than tobacco, kind of. Mm. But this is this is good. All right. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I'm just it's just different than what I was expecting. So let's load this pipe up here, and I'm smoking my other Savinelli author pipe, the the backup pipe, if you will. I had a nightmare the other uh, the, the other day that I, uh, I I I had a dream that like I I came out to the shed to smoke my pipe and there was a crack in my pipe. It was weird. It was frightening. And I don't normally dream it, and I don't remember my dreams, but I don't know. It was very weird. It was just like a two-second thing. I was in the shed, and I looked at my pipe to load it up like this, and there was a giant crack in it. And I remember saying in the dream, oh, thank God I have a backup. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to pack this pretty good. So I'm curious how this is going to pair with the whiskey, because... Yeah, like, you don't... Like, obviously, you can tell this is whiskey and, and bourbon and everything because it's, you know, that's what it is. But this, I don't get an incense. Let me do this. Let me. All right. That's pretty good packed. Let me try this. Let's do. Take this tin. Do a comparison here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of got a slight hint of like Play-Doh, and I've said this before on one of these uh, tin notes. I can't remember which one it was, but every now and then when I stick my nose in, I get a, a sense of like almost like it's hard to describe. It's like a not bourbon but whiskey kind of smell, but very faintly. Not not like this. When you get your nose there, you know. I should have did the the. Uh, the Glen Karen glass when I did this. Next time I'll do that. I mean, this is just really good. I mean, I highly recommend getting the Wyoming. It's it's rivaling, rivaling, well, that makes no sense. It's uh, close to my Elijah Craig, which I love dearly. That's my favorite whiskey. Like in rank, in my ranking. I mean, it's completely, it's different, but it, it's it's up there. But anyway. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't, I don't get any real whiskey notes per se. I mean, I get a hint of it, but nothing, nothing dramatic, like the other, like the cafe series. Like you, well, there's a lot of Cavendish, but and it's more chocolatey. But you kind of got a sense of, oh yeah, yeah, that makes it, it fits. This this is a little different. So we'll put him there. We'll load him up. Can't seem to get a good draw here, but...
Yeah, it's more of a burly, like with the false light or the, the first light, it's like a, it's just like a, a burly kind of smell. But I actually, to be honest, I'm going to use the old Bic here to get a good... I don't know, my hands are kind of cold, so... I'm not getting a good light here. Might be a little wet. I don't think it's too wet, but this one's not as good. Let's tr let's try this. This little this one. This was usually my good bit. More burly Virginia kind of notes that I'm getting. Although when I get close like this, there's like a, that, again, that subtle hint of whiskey. I think it's a little too... The tobacco I should have let dry a little bit. Plus my lighters are a little bit cold for being in here. So I should have kind of heated these up a little bit. It's, it's, a, it's a little rough going, but we're going to make it through. Yeah, it's a still a subtle whiskey kind of, but there's like this cream taste, not like, and I want to say it's because it's like the Virginia's. I'm making it kind of like almost a little Virginia cream, but not quite, not as strong. Just kind of like this little, little hint of it, like a li little, I mean, it's good. It's, it is good. And now there, like that tasting note, it's kind of like a more of a tobacco kind of taste. Like, not cigarette, but like burly tobacco kind of taste. I mean, it's burning good now that I got it going. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's very subtle, whatever whiskey kind of infusion they have going there. Let's, let's do this. Yeah, see right there, I get that whiskey... You know when you take a sip like I'm going to do right now? And you know you've had whiskey in your mouth or spirits? Kind of like that. Also, I just want to point out, um, and maybe it's a little too late. I know a lot of people have, have tuned in for my Halloween content of late, and I appreciate that. I love doing, I'm enjoying the Halloween stuff. I will have, probably tonight I'm going to do a, another Halloween video. I'm going to update something on the Arnold House, which I think is pretty cool. It's just amazing how it happened. So I'm going to probably do that tonight and speak of that. I also have to do, uh, I have to watch 
Friday the 13th, part one, because I'm going to be on the basement tomorrow night um, with my buddy Albert. And now the basement's a podcast that's on the Airglue Media Network, and it, it covers um, Ready Player One, the novel. And Albert and Will have been trucking through the novel again, the first novel, because Ready Player Two is coming out with the novel. So it's like a, a companion to, to that novel, or that series, I should say. And uh, a few years ago, Albert and I did Halloween. When, uh, 2018, when Halloween came out in the theaters a few years ago, we did uh, a Halloween special. And now it's kind of like tradition. Albert and I get together for doing like a Halloween type of show where we talk about the, the retro movies that we grow. The, the golden age of horror movies for me was really the 80s, late 70s, early 90s. We had Scream in the late 90s that was pretty good. And I know what you did last summer originally and, and The Blair Witch. But those were, I don't know if they, I think Scream holds up to the test of time. I know what you did last summer, not really. Um... I'm going to kind of watch those again and check those out. Um, and I'm probably going to do a review of, of a Bly Manor. So we'll tune in for that. There's more Halloween content coming. I just wanted to do a review of of uh, of this here. I almost did the Black Mallory review today, but I just said, you know what? I feel like whiskey. So here we are. Yep, see now I get I get a whiskey, more of a whiskey note. Yep. I would say more again, it's more like you sip the whiskey and you taste the whiskey kind of thing, but not like you don't taste like the oak, um, the smokiness or anything like that, or it's more of a sweet, so it's almost more of a bourbon-ish kind of. Again, they don't say what they use for whiskey, but I'm betting it's a bourbon. Because bourbon's like, I think, Joe, correct me if I'm wrong, I think bourbon's the most popular whiskey of the whiskeys. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe scotch is, but... And again, here in America, I think we're all bourbon kind of... You can tell this the fan that's blowing the heat, you can tell it's going because the smoke is kind of, it's blowing around. It's a little loud. I don't know. Let me know if this is kind of too loud. It's warmed up the area better than I thought it would because in the winter, I'm going to have this going. I got my, uh, my propane heater as well, which will keep my feet warm, which is very important. If my feet are cold, I get, I, I'm a little bitch about it. I don't like my feet cold, but I can deal with my hands being cold, but my feet, no. So that'll be going, and I might get a lantern, an actual lantern, an oil lantern, kind of maybe hang it down there. You might not see it, but I, just to throw some heat down um, so it's on my head. So I'm kind of in a bubble of heat, so to speak. I have like a loft, like there's a little bit of a roof here that can kind of trap the heat. So I'm kind of trying to do that. So we'll see. But the smokiness, now it's hard to tell because I got... This fan is kind of going with the heat and it's blowing it away. So I don't, I don't see it as like the other ones. Like uh, I think Sherlock Holmes was a very smoky. Morley's Best definitely was a very smoky smoke note, right? As I always call it. It's very smoky. This is, seems like on the line of like Haunted Bookshop. It's smoky, but it dissipates pretty quickly. But it's hard to tell with this fan here. And I'm not shutting it off because I, I want the heat. But to my pipe smokers, I recommend checking Cobblestone out. I'm pleasantly surprised by it. I didn't think, I thought when I got the the Cafe series, I thought, ah, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be that good. It's not gonna be like Cornell and Deal, and, and I thought it wasn't gonna be that good, but it's pretty cool. It's not bad, it's a good, it's a good tobacco. So far, the ones that I've had. And there's that kind of 
it's almost, I want to say bourbon, but it's kind of, only because it seems a little more on the sweet kind of side. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain, but. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I've taken up enough of your time. It's like 20 minutes or so. Um, I recommend this. It's Where does it rank so far? Um, it's middle pack compared to the others. And again, like I said, at the end of the year, I will be doing my ranking of all the tobaccos I've had. And uh, that'll be a fun video. But this isn't bad. Not as good as the Cafe series. But maybe that could be because I'm more of a sweet tooth with uh, my aromatics or something like this. But this this is pretty good. It's I don't think it's technically an aromatic. Uh, I want to say it is because it's infused with, to, with, with the whiskey. But um, I would say you, you taste the Burleys more than the the whiskey infusion and the, the Virginias. You get the Virginias, but I would say you get the Burley more than anything, which is good because Burleys are good. So that's going to do it. And again, the Wyoming whiskey, you can't go wrong with this. This is good stuff. I highly recommend Wyoming. And uh, you probably have a few more whiskey reviews coming up. Uh, the Common Man whiskey reviews as I've done. I just, uh, especially when I get more of these tobaccos, actually there's rum too. I think there's a rum in the Spirit series. So, and I do have my rum somewhere i think it's in the house but more on that later so in any case i'll see you guys later for more scary haunting stuff so enjoy your day cheers to you